This pilot ejected at the last second. Welcome back, Charlie here. For fighter pilots, one second can be the difference between life or death. Thankfully, all military aircraft are equipped with powerful ejection seats. Today we'll be looking at eight times when things went wrong on board, and pilots had to eject at the last second. First, we have to look at this ground ejection. It's 2009, and a British RAF Harrier plane is taking off from Afghanistan. But soon after the pilot takes off, he realizes there's a problem. The pilot tries to land the plane at a military base, but as the plane descends, the pilot can't slow down enough. The Harrier jump jet lands at a staggering speed, causing the plane's nose to break off. The plane skids down the runway, with the underside now totally on fire. The pilot tries to remain calm, but it takes seconds for the flames to spread to the cockpit, forcing the pilot to make a very hard decision. He knows he only has seconds to make an emergency ejection or burn up in flames. You may be surprised to hear emergency ejections are not smooth at all. Many people who emergency eject say that it's very painful, but this pilot chooses to eject, and in doing so, saves his own life. I'm sure he didn't regret his decision, as he watched his plane burn up on the tarmac. There's no way the pilot will have survived that. Next, we have to look at this missile ejection. This pilot video comes from the ongoing Russia-Ukraine conflict. Dramatic footage shows a pilot flying a fighter jet. That's when he notices a missile has locked onto his plane. He tries to turn the plane, but it's too late. And he ejects just seconds before the missile hits. The Su-25SM fighter jet crashes to the ground. Luckily for the pilot, his parachute works. He safely glides into a field, and stares at his plane which is now a smoldering wreck. These planes cost around $11 million each, but it took mere seconds for this $50,000 missile to totally destroy it. Moving on, let's look at this MiG-29 ejection. This video comes from the Paris Air Show in 1989. A pilot was flying a MiG-29 plane. He was performing some very fast and high-flying tricks. He did various twists and turns in the sky. The pilot, Anatoly Kovalka, then attempted to make his final pass. But after completing a loop, something went wrong. The aircraft began plummeting to the ground leaving the pilot, Anatoly, with mere seconds to save his life. Thankfully, he ejects and is fine. But what went wrong? Well, look closely at this slowed down video. That's right, this bird was to blame. An investigation determined that the right engine had failed after a bird flew into it, causing the left engine to push the airplane to the right. But because Anatoly was going so slow, he couldn't correct the turn, causing the plane to crash. Anatoly said his first instinct was to save the plane. When he realized that wasn't possible, he tried to point the plane away from spectators, and then attempted to eject. Anatoly had minimal injuries. He was taken to a nearby hospital and soon recovered. Thankfully, Anatoly was a top pilot. Many experts said that if Anatoly wasn't such a great pilot, this crash could have been a tragedy. Next, we have to look at this supersonic ejection. It's scary to be ejected at any speed, but ejecting at supersonic speed is every pilot's worst nightmare. But that nightmare was reality for Captain Brian Udall. On April 18th, 1999, Udall was flying an F-15 plane. He was joined by another F-15 plane flown by a different pilot. They took off from North Carolina and began flying over the Atlantic Ocean. Udall's plane was going at around 690 miles per hour, which is right at the verge of supersonic. That's when he began losing control of his F-15. He saw his altitude rapidly dropping and that's when he panicked. He decided he had no choice but to eject. Had he waited just half a second longer, he would have hit the water in his plane, and would not be alive today. Brian said that ejecting at supersonic speed felt like being hit by a train. His helmet was ripped off, breaking all of the blood vessels in his face. His left elbow was dislocated and pointed the wrong way, and his leg was nearly ripped off. Brian's parachute hit the water, 
and he thought that his life was over. It took four hours for search and rescue planes to find him. Thankfully, Brian survived, but the navigator who was in the plane with him sadly did not. Next, I have to show you this carrier ship ejection. In 2003, a training exercise took place on the USS George Washington, but that's when things went wrong. An F-18 Hornet came in for a landing. But as it landed, the arrestor cable used to stop the aircraft malfunctioned. The cable then snapped. Without the arrestor cable, a plane can't land on a ship. When the arrestor cable snapped, the pilot had only seconds to decide what to do. The pilot decided to eject, just seconds before the plane crashed into the ocean. But the crazy part is what happened still on the boat. When the arrestor cable snapped, it actually shot back in the opposite direction. Amazingly, some of the crew were able to jump the cable, while others were knocked over. Various people were injured during this mishap, but thankfully, everyone survived. Next, let's look at this NASA ejection. The Air Force aren't the only people who sometimes need to press eject. Sometimes NASA pilots have to do so as well. While training for the Apollo 11 moon landing mission, Neil Armstrong was doing a training exercise. On May 6th, 1968, Neil Armstrong was testing a lunar lander. Everything was going fine until something went wrong. Armstrong lost control. The lunar test vehicle moved to one side rapidly, and Armstrong had no choice but to eject. Thankfully, his ejection seat took him in a vertical direction. Otherwise, he could have been thrown into the ground. The lunar lander crashed to the ground in a fireball, but Neil Armstrong was okay, and went on to land on the moon. Although, thankfully, that time, he didn't need to eject. Now, let's look at this A6 intruder ejection. One day, an A6 intruder pilot was taking off from the USS Carl Vinson. The plane took off fine, but immediately after takeoff, the plane was not giving any power. The pilot soon realized the engine had failed. The pilot quickly drops the fuel tank, but that's when the pilot realizes something terrible. He saw the horizon was at 90 degrees, meaning that if he ejected, he would be shot downward instead of upward. But he has no other choice and takes the risk anyway. The pilot and navigator are shot out at 90 degrees. Their parachutes barely open. But although they do suffer some injuries, they both survive. Finally, let's look at this F-35 ejection. In 2021, footage was leaked. It showed a British F-35 jet crashing into the sea. It was leaving a carrier ship, but instead of taking off, the plane appeared to fall directly into the ocean. You can see the moment where the pilot ejects at the last second. The $100 million jet was taking off from HMS Queen Elizabeth. Thankfully, the pilot survived, but authorities were never able to locate the aircraft. Now it's time to make your voice heard. Comment down below which of these ejections was the most risky. If you want to see my short videos, then check out my second channel. But as always, thanks for watching. I've been Charlie. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, then what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.